Hi everyone, welcome to the Super Funnels Map and Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex, and we're going to shoot some amps out today. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we go on, uh, please hit like and subscribe on the video and the channel. Hit the notification bell, we'll send you a notification when there's new videos up. Much appreciated. Now we've got some amps, so the Bass Breaker 15, which is a 15 watt valve head, and also the DSL 20, which is a, a Marshall head of amplifying <laughs> devices. <laughs> He's good at this. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we have a radial headbone VT uh, tu valve tube head switcher, mm. which um, so both of these heads go into that, and then from that it goes into a one by twelve with a greenback, which is marked with a, an SM57. That's right. Okay, we're going to use four guitars. We've got an S, I mean T style. We've got a JM style. We've got a blue P90 style, and we've got a brown humbucker style. <laughs> brown guitar. Humbucker <laughs> style guitar. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so clean, we're starting with this, it sounds suchly. Thoughts? This is a little bit more scooped and, dare I say, fendery. Um, this has this kind of this mid range that sits really nicely. I really like the clean on this. Mm. That's a great clean amp. Uh, this is very pretty. Yeah. This kind of has this like own mid range thing. Yeah. Uh, and there's also reverb, that's the, the built in digital reverb, and both. So they both have yeah. a built in digital reverb. Okay, let's try out the. Oh, and I should mention we're on the low structure on this at the moment. So there's a low, medium, and high structure. You can watch our video of the bass breaker here. In depth. Uh, yes. Stuff. In depth. Happens. Like 60 minutes for amps. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one. One thing I really like on this amp, and that's the only amp I've used in a while, or recently anyway, that I can think of, that has a resonance knob on it. Yeah. What the resonance knob does is, most amps have a presence uh, uh, dial on it, or a bright switch. And what that does is, it adds a uh, top end to the power amp section. So it's after, so usually what you have is you have the, uh, the you know, input gain or input volume, you have an EQ, and then that goes, that's the preamp, and then that goes into the power amp, and then quite often you have a presence knob or that bright switch, um, which is on the power amp section. The resonance knob is bottom end on the power amp section, yeah. and it just gives that, it thickens up the sound, it gives yeah. so much more body. Yes. Yes. It's good. Because, are we, hang on, we've got, had the bright switch in, let's go this with the bright switch out.
Okay. <laughs> so in some of the other shootout videos, we've talked about this. For that guitar, pre pre preference? I prefer, I ever so slightly prefer the uh, bass breaker. For this guitar, I prefer the... Yeah, I do too. I do too. It just, it just has some sort of... A, it, it just mm. has this roundness to it. Sure. Compliments. Because sometimes jazz masks can be pretty bright. So. Yeah. Although this isn't too bright. This is actually a little bit mm. darker, I think, of a pickup than the other one that I read on. But mm. All right. Let's do the same thing now, cleanish, yeah. with the P90s and humbuckers. All right, we're back now. Uh, we've got a Laravel with P90s and we've got a Carvin slash Kiesel uh, CT6, all, mm. just all stock. So let's start off again with the Fender Bass Breaker. Halfway through, I switched this to the medium structure setting, which is still kind of clean, but a bit, a little bit more driven, just because yep. that was pushing this a bit harder. Yep. And this was starting to get to a point where it was uh, almost compressing a little bit too much. Mm. Cool. Okay, so thoughts. Maybe this one and this one. I thought I, I quite liked it with that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nothing wrong with this, but okay, let's try humbuckers. So let's start off again with the uh, Fender. Okay, um, now it's this one. Come on. Ooh. Definitely that one for me. Yeah. Yeah. This still has a cool mid range, but. I think the top, top end sweeter for that guitar. There's something about, and I don't quite know how to explain it, but there's some. It has some sort of like a roundness to it. It has this kind of smoothness to it mm. that I really quite like. So it it's um, and it feels easier to play. Interesting. 
Yeah. Should we get some gain sounds going? Gain sounds uh, with the uh, other guitars in it. All right. Uh, we're now going into the uh, high structure on this, and we're in the ultra gain channel on this, back with the S, I mean T style, one of them, uh, and the JM style. So uh, let's go first into this one again. Did, I did kind of what you did with this, where you, you turn the gain all the way down and turn the master all the way up. I kind of tried the same with this. Mm. <laughs> it didn't quite work the same, no. but... So, okay, thoughts with that guitar? And that setting where you push the master more, I think it's this Marshall combo. Okay. For me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit too scoopy or something. Okay, I, I did like crank it. the mids a bit towards the end as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's go JM style into this. aggressive.
very different. Yeah. Um, that's again more angry. This has this like poke that goes and goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, P90s and humbuckers. Mm, interesting. All right, we're back. So now we've got P90s and humbuckers. We're in the bass breaker, high gain structure. Go. <laughs> thoughts damn very different yeah this one's a much rounder much cleaner smoother maybe smoother this is much angrier yeah I don't yeah. know if I prefer one over yeah. the other they're just different for me so but again the way you've done it now you, you the gain's not that high it's the, the power amp the, the master volume that's cranked it's copping all that uh, okay Wait, yeah. humbuckers into this one
again, that one's much angrier. I think that's the combo. That guitar and the sand. Primo. <laughs> Primo, Mutt. Again, I, I don't know which one I like better. I do. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. This one, that guitar. Okay. This has, well, that's... has this kind of width and yeah. largeness about it. Yeah. All those hand gestures. <laughs> they're, they're the important things. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. Let us know what your thoughts are mm. uh, below. Um, like, yeah, we've said in other videos with these shootouts, kind of sometimes you get really good combinations of guitar, pickup, amp, speaker, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's which one you're going to dig for your guitar, your playing style, the music you're playing, yeah. other instruments in your band. If there's other guitar players, do they have a Les Paul and a Marshall? Because you might want to telly in a vox or something or something to complement the sounds so um that all comes into play and um of course personal preference and stuff you like to listen to and play yes yeah yes yes uh so yeah let us know what your thoughts are uh, more shootouts there's probably some links to some other shootouts up there through, uh, throughout the video uh and while people are watching this and doing stuff on the interwebs what else may they be doing uh, well, after subscribing to the channel of yeah. course yeah, do that, would be great. And um, we have links below to a podcast and Instagram and Facebook accounts. So you can check out what we're doing there. Much appreciated. Have a look. Could be interesting. Never know. Pictures of the dog. Oh, please, yes, pictures of the dog. That's, that's, that's what the world needs. Uh, on yeah. that note. <laughs> that's what Instagram is. On that note, uh, thank you so much for watching. See you around. Bye, next time. Bye.